Peekaboo. Hi guys, welcome to Lee Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. It's another week. Oh boy, here we go. Happy November, right? And uh, daylight savings time. Got an extra hour too. What? That's what's up. I needed that. <laughs> um, guess what? We are back with another request video, and it is a brand new artist to the channel, Matteo Mancuso. And we're actually going to be listening to two songs, uh, Drop D and then Silk Road. And this is uh, brought to you by Tulsa Web Development. Thank you for your request. Uh, I really appreciate it, bro. You have no idea how like literally needed that support is right now. Like, we're going through a lot. So I really appreciate y'all, seriously. So I'm going to stop it. Let's get into this. I'm very excited. Uh, apparently, this is the evolution of guitar, according to Steve Vai. Hey, just, that's all you got to say, bro. Let's do it. If you guys aren't subscribed, please help a brother out. Click the icon right down there. I'd really appreciate it. It takes like two seconds. It's absolutely free, and it really helps channel up on the 7K. Let's go. Matteo Mancuso, drop D. Three, two, one, a go. Okay, it's multiple people in mind. Chunky. Man, I got so many instrumental bands this reminds me of, bro. It's like Sean Hall and Chan. A little bit of Polyphia. It's something else, I can't tell. Bro, what a video too. That's a beautiful like location. I like how they give it a little time to breathe, man. They're taking their time, I like it. Oh my god, dude. Look at his fingers moving, bro. Exquisite work, bro. He's got those long ass fingers, bro. Mine are like short and stubby, bro. I'm a drummer, I can't help it. <laughs> Ooh, look at that location, dude.
Oh, that fool! Good God! <laughs> Dude, no shit. <laughs> this guy's ridiculous. Seems like a fun day too, man. I wish I was there hanging out. I'll shoot the video for you at least. It's almost got like this, not hard rock, but like this almost like alt rock from like the 2000s and like the rhythm riffs. Like a Chevelle, like altered Chevelle riff almost. I don't know. That's where my brain took me. Everything else is like a lot of instrumental from the modern stuff. It's so good. Wow, dude. That was great, man. Matteo Mancuso. All right, well, track two, Silk Road. I wonder if the locations are going to be as good in this, too. Oh, yep, I can already tell. He's young as shit, too, man. Look at him go, bro. This shit's great. Watch him be older than me. Okay, yeah, there's that hard rock vibe. Definitely there. Oh, man. Ha! <laughs> That's awesome. Man, this dude in his hoodie's walking around, bro. Hey, it works for a video though, fuck it, right? He's got some good touch, bro, definitely. The timing is like perfect. And he's like switching in out of styles just effortlessly. Bro, this location work is excellent. Dude, the bass player's keeping up perfectly too, man. He is killing it. Oh, that's a snarky sounding riff, bro. Whoa, that was good. Whoa, 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 whoa. If only we could walk around and play guitar, bro. I wish I could walk around and drum. Like a little scooter or something. This dude's got some soul, bro. Definitely. That was a Tosin little solo right there, bro. Tosin Abasi, oh my god, bro. I remember the first time I heard CFAO or whatever. And the production is just like flawless, man. Everything sounds so good and clear.
I said, they really take their time and let it breathe. I really like that. That's very rare. Let the music speak for itself, man. That is gorgeous. Is this like Greece or, or like Italy, I'm guessing? Like, I don't know if it's like Roma or... Sinister, but not at the same time. There's so much going on, it's amazing. Bro. What the fuck? That sounded like there was like three riffs going over each other at once and it all worked. That was so good. Good pick, Tulsa. That was great, man. That was really, really good. I was not expecting it to be that good. Thank you again, Tulsa. I appreciate the donation. Like I said, it is more than needed uh, and it is going to good use, I promise. Um, Wow, where to start with that, man? I guess I'll start with the first track. Uh, Drop D. I honestly, I feel like Drop D is a great like intro, and then Silk Road expands upon his talents. The whole the whole triplets talents, honestly. Um, the bass player and the drummer are amazing too. I don't know if Matteo Mancuso is the name of the guitarist or it's the name of the band, and the guitarist has a different name, or it could be the name of the band, and it's his name. I don't know, but um. Yeah, that was great, man. He is, I don't even know how to describe that. He is very, very talented, dude. I mean, the way his fingers were moving, I mean, he's got, like I said, he's got those long guitarist fingers, and uh, they were literally moving up and down that neck, like, in formations and speed that I've never seen, man. That was so good. And how some of the layering was. The layering was exquisite on top of the production. Like, like at the end there, the end of Silk Road, with this, like, it literally sounded like there was three or four different riffs going on at once, plus the bass, plus the drums going. And uh, it's kind of a, it kind of paralyzes your brain. Like, I didn't know what to focus on. I was trying to focus on every riff at the same time. And then by doing that, I was focusing on no riff at the same time. So it was very, like, a stupefying 30 seconds. And uh, it was really cool to end that song off with, a, with that. Um, like I said, the bass player, and he was getting into it, bro. They all were getting into it. They all felt like they had that feeling, that soul in them, especially with um, Matteo. Or I'll just say the guitarist. I don't want to sound stupid if I'm wrong. Um, so the guitarist, man, like literally, like he knows what the fuck he's doing. And uh, Steve I was not kidding when he said that is the future of guitar right there. That reminded me of so many modern instrumental bands as well, but honestly surpassed a lot of them in just those two songs. I don't know if they if they like passed Animals as Leaders and um, a couple other ones, but wow, man. There were so many, like I said, there was a hard rock vibe in both of them, especially in Silk Road, uh, like in the main kind of riff in the beginning and like the underlying rhythm riff in the first one. Uh, definitely like an old alt-rock kind of riff, kind of maybe tuned up or down a little bit, and it was very put to good use on top of like the more modern kind of prog sound that he was doing. Um, and like bands like this, they don't need vocals. That's why I love instrumental songs so much is because it, the instrumental sing, it's like the lyrics are the music. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people like can't get into it, but I love instrumentals, man. I, um, like I said, I remember the first time I heard animals as leaders and I was in ninth grade and I was stoned out of my mind off some dirt ass weed out of a can. I think I smoked in the woods with my friends. It was like October. We hopped in the back of the car and uh, I think Solomon, yeah, Solomon, rest in peace. Um, he put it on. I watched the video too. Not a good idea. Blew my mind. And since that day, I have been in love with instrumental because um, I think there's so much more you can do and there's so much more you can explore without vocals. 
uh, because you need more sound and stuff to fill the space without the vocals, and you need like sort of a structure to like guide the song along, obviously, without the vocals leading the way. And I feel it's it's just there's so much more spirit and flavor to instrumental, especially like the more modern prog ones, man. Like Polyphia and Chan, like I name those bands literally all the time when I do this like reactions to the instrumentals. And uh, I will keep doing it because I love them and uh, keep it coming. Thank you so much again to Tulsa. That was a great pick. I will definitely listen more to this of this band. If you have another song, please leave it below. If you guys didn't know, we have Patreon right Yeah, Go check it out. You get uh, one free request a month. Um, if you're at the $5 tier up, you get one free request a month. Um, you get to chat with me whenever you want. Access to all the blocked videos, the Patreon exclusives, pictures of me and my family behind the scenes. It's all in there. And the support is uh, very much appreciated. And if you want to do a request, just like Tulsa did like this, you get your own personal video. I shout you out. I butter you up. I size you up. I say you're a really good person and you're beautiful or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. Do the PayPal right there. That's for request tips and anything else. It is very appreciated, much needed. Um, we are going through a tough time right now, me and my family. Uh, I was doing good there for a while, but literally just a bunch of shit just hit it once. And uh, like I say, um, I'm putting out fires left and right that I did not start, and um, I'm not happy about it. But I am an adult, almost 30-year-old adult. I got to get my shit together even more than I have. Even though with three years clean, I should definitely have way more done than I have now. But I uh, at least I have my head on straight. And I have you guys behind me, and uh, this channel is doing very good. And I am... More than grateful. Like, you guys have no idea. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I will see y'all next time.